Welcome to This is My Architecture. My name is Christian, and today I'm joined by Guido from HomeGate. Welcome, Guido. Thanks for having me here. Guido, tell us a little bit about HomeGate. So HomeGate is a Swiss company. It's a leading real estate marketplace in mm -hmm. Switzerland. It has around 100,000 list properties advertised, mm -hmm. and also more than 9 million visits per month. Wow, that's huge. So we're seeing a nice architecture here. Please walk us through what use case you're addressing with this. So what we have here, it's our main uh, ingest property listings data ingestion mechanism, mm -hmm. right? What we call the importer. And um, every property that gets advertised at HomeGate needs to go through this process. Mm -hmm. Another important service we have is the dispatcher. This one is responsible to, uh, for syncing legacy data into the new re-engineered services. So in this way, we can leave uh, legacy and uh, re-engineered services uh, together. I see. Perfect. So we are seeing a lot of serverless and managed services here on that board that are used in your architecture. Maybe you can quickly explain why you've chosen them and what the benefits are. So we wanted to minimize some issues we had in the past with the legacy system, which were, was very complex and uh, had long build times. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to scale the team as well um, and also avoid uh, managing our, our own infrastructure, right? So we went to rewrite um, everything from scratch on AWS using cloud native technologies. Um, in this, this way, we can leverage uh, AWS infrastructure and uh, worry less about um, scaling and provisioning and security and worry more about our domain, which is real estate marketplace. OK, so by choosing this microservice-based architecture, this allows you to focus more on innovation and building new things instead of managing uh, complex architectures. Exactly. That's very good. So um, please walk me through the import process and what happens in this architecture. Sure. Um, first, we have a CloudWatch event the scheduled event that triggers this Lambda that pu to pull data from the legacy uh, system and replicate that in a DynamoDB table. OK. Why did you go for DynamoDB here? So DynamoDB is very flexible. Um, it's also managed service, of course. Uh, it's also very fast to provision, right? We also can we leverage uh, DynamoDB streams. It's very neat uh, for any change that happens in legacy we can decide if it's a relevant change to be published or not. Uh, and we do that in this Lambda here. OK, so to sum it up, this uh, dispatcher microservice that you build allows you to um, pull the data from the legacy, which you still have, and forward it to the new um, created importer microservice, which uh, is handling all the imports that, um, that go through the, through the platform. Exactly. Good. So, Maybe you can tell me what happens next once you have the data pulled and kind of curated, converted to the new format. Um, where is it handed over? So, and then we, we call an endpoint, an API endpoint, mm -hmm. which is a central publishing endpoint at HomeGate. Um, and this will trigger invoke a Lambda that then saves this new listing table data in an in internal DynamoDB table and also triggers a set of step functions. OK, so DynamoDB is another data store for this uh, listings import microservice. Um, I'm very curious to learn more about what you are using step functions for. So um, the ingestion mechanism is, uh, is a complex, rather complex service, right? Mm -hmm. So we have many steps. We have to enrich the listing with uh, jail tagging information, mm -hmm. um, also replace numbers with call tracking softwares. Um, as well as quality grading and image uh, optimization and, and uploading. And uh, step functions make managing this whole workflow easier. Uh, and also, we can visualize easily uh, in wherever, whenever something goes wrong. And we can retry though, that step to continue the ingestion process at any moment. And I guess it's also easily possible to integrate additional steps if you would need to, to do some other modifications and other enrichments and data modifications. Exactly. Perfect. So once the data is enriched and the listing is ready to be published, what happens next? Um, next, once the ingestion is, uh, process is over, we then send a message to an SNS topic mm -hmm. uh, where any other microservice that is interested in uh, listing publishing 
uh, can listen to and react to it. So one example is the search alerts, uh, where we have uh, push notifications or email alerts mm -hmm. uh, about interesting properties. Uh, and we emit millions of them per week. Uh, that's one of the services right now that we use, but future re-engineered services can also use this topic. Um, that way we can um, decouple systems and react to, to any published event. Yeah. Great, so I really like that microservices-based approach and the clear interfaces you implemented in order to connect them. Very interesting, thanks for sharing this architecture with us today. You're welcome. And thanks for watching This Is My Architecture.